Good evening. Welcome to the House of the Lord here at Cornerstone United Methodist Church. My name is Brian Germano. I'm the pastor here, and we are so glad that you're able to join us for this Good Friday service. Tonight is a service of, it's called Tenebrae. It's a service of shadows. The word Tenebrae means shadow. And it's a service which will be a service of music, scripture, and reflection. And uh, it'll be reflecting on the last days of Jesus here on earth. I want to say a special welcome, not only those of you present, but those of you worshiping with us online as well. We're glad that you're able to join us. Uh, We hope that you'll just give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then be sure to join us again on on Easter Sunday morning for our our live stream as well. Now, whether you're joining us in person or online, uh, you'll need to uh, be aware that after, as we go, as we progress through this service, if you've never uh, participated or seen a service, a Tenebrae service before, each segment of the uh, service represents a different segment of the story of Jesus' last days on earth. And as we progress through each segment, we'll extinguish a, can, uh, a, a different candle, each of those segments, until we're down to just the Christ candle, and we'll eventually snuff it out as well. And as we do that, we'll gradually dim the sanctuary and we'll dim the lights around you uh, in remembrance of Christ's suffering and death. So, so this is just a, a, a visual, remi- visual reminder of the, the suffering and the death that Jesus went through on our behalf. We do ask that in keeping with the solemn nature of this service, please, I know the choir has done a great job and our musicians have done a great job, but please no applause uh, for tonight's service uh, after the songs. Just allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you and uh, give thanks in your own heart for the, the songs that they'll be sharing. Now, if you would join me, those of you present, if you'd please stand as you're able uh, or in spirit and join me and you'll see the words on the screen for our call to, responsive call to worship. Those of you online, you should see those words as well. Grace and peace to you from God, uh, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God who redeems us from sin and death. For us and for our salvation, Christ became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Blessed be the name of the Lord. seated, I invite you to join your hearts in prayer with me. Let us pray. Jesus, crucified and living Savior, we come together tonight, as the disciples did, huddled huddled together in fear and doubt like the disciples long ago. We do not want to be forsaken. We do not want to say goodbyes. We do not want to follow you with a cross. But even as we know you bid us to follow you into brokenness and death, we also know that you have gone before us. You have faced danger and conquered doubt. And as we remember the Good Friday events of long ago, we are brought closer to each other and we feel your presence with us. 
And we know that we can go with you because your promise abides with us. As we continue now in this service, we contemplate and give you thanks for your presence as we continue in a few moments of silence. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. He said to the disciples, stay here while I go over there and pray. When he took Peter and Zebedee's two sons, he began to feel sad and anxious. Then he said to them, I'm very sad. It's as if I'm dying. Stay here and keep alert with me. Then he went a short distance farther and fell on his face and prayed. My father, if it's possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. However, not what I want, but what you want. He came back to the disciples and found them sleeping. He said to Peter, couldn't you stay alert one hour with me? Stay alert and pray so that you won't give in to temptation. The spirit is eager, but the flesh is weak. A second time he went away and prayed. My father, if it's not possible that this cup be taken away unless I drink it, then let it be what you want. Again, he came and found them sleeping. Their eyes were heavy with sleep. But he left them and again went and prayed the same words for the third time. 
Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Will you sleep and rest all night? Look, the time has come for the human one to be betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, here comes my betrayer. While Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, came. With him was a large crowd carrying swords and clubs. They had been sent by the chief priests and elders of the people. His betrayer had given them a sign, arrest the man I kiss. Just then he came to Jesus and said, hello, rabbi, and he kissed him. But Jesus said to him, friend, do what you came to do. They went and grabbed Jesus and arrested him. I want you there to pray with me. I am grieving now, even unto death. Come and wait, wait here and stay awake. Keep alert and watch and pray that the Lord will give you power.
Meanwhile, Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant woman came and said to him, you are also with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of all of them saying, I don't know what you're talking about. When he went over to the gate, another woman saw him and said to those who were there, this man was with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. With a solemn pledge, he denied it again saying, I don't know the man. A short time later, those standing there came and said to Peter, you must be one of them. The way you talk gives you away. Then he cursed and swore, I don't know the man. At that very moment, the rooster crowed, and Peter remembered Jesus' words. Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter went out and cried uncontrollably. Judas Peter, a poem by Lucy Shaw. Because we are all betrayers, taking silver and eating body and blood and asking, is it I? And hearing him say, yes. It would be simple for us all to rush out and hang ourselves. But if we find grace to cry and wait after the voice of mourning has crowed in our ears clearly enough to break our hearts, he will be there to ask us each again, do you love me? Jesus was brought before the governor. The governor said, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, that is what you say. But he didn't answer when the chief priests and elders accused him. Then Jesus said, then Pilate said, don't you hear the testimony they bring against you? But he didn't answer, not even a Oh, oh, oh. 
When they had finished mocking him, they stripped him of the military coat and put his own clothes back on him, and they led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they found Simon, a man from Cyrene, and they forced him to carry Jesus' cross. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means skull place, they gave Jesus wine mixed with vinegar to drink. But after tasting it, he didn't want to drink it. After they crucified him, they divided up his clothes among them by drawing lots. They sat there guarding him. They placed above his head the charge against him. It read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. They crucified him with two outlaws, one on his left and one on his right. Those who were walking by insulted Jesus, shaking their heads and saying, So, you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, were you not? Save yourself. If you are God's son, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priest, along with the legal experts and the elders, were making fun of him, saying, He saved others, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel, so let him come down from the cross now. Then we'll believe in him. He trusts in God, so let God deliver him now, if he wants to. He said, I'm God's son. From noon until three in the afternoon, the whole earth was dark. At about three, Jesus cried out with a loud, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you left me? After hearing him, some standing there said, he's calling Elijah. One of them even ran over, took a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a pole. He offered it to Jesus to drink. But the rest of them said, let's see if Elijah will come and save him. Again, Jesus cried out with a loud shout. Then he died. Look, 
the curtain of the sanctuary has been torn from the top to the bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split, and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised. After Jesus' resurrection, they came out of their graves and they went into the holy city where they appeared to many people. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and what had just happened, they were filled with awe and said, this was certainly God's son.
as we contemplate Jesus' death, let us pray in silence as we saw also contemplate the salvation that that death bought for us. And then, briefly, to remember that that death was not the final word. please stand as you're able or in spirit and receive this benediction. May Jesus Christ, who for our sakes became obedient unto death, even death on a cross, keep you and strengthen you until we gather again on Sunday to celebrate the rest of the story. Please depart in silence. Go in peace. <laughs>